Hello family, it's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach, bringing you your December 2020 Tarot Scope. Guys, we made it to 2020. We're finishing, we're rounding it off. Woo! <laughs> so with that being said, I want to take a moment and I want to say thank you to everybody who supported me this year, not just on the channel, but um, with all your kind words and your love. I know many of us have experienced loss. I'm not the only one, but I want to tell you it means so much to me to have a community and a family like you guys to love and support me during these really hard times for me and my family. So thank you. Big, big hugs. You know I love you guys. <laughs> big, big hugs. Lots and lots of love. High fives, guys, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs because we're going to need it to finish this year off. So let's talk a little bit astrologically what's going on. On the first, we're starting it off Big Willie style, okay? Mercury enters into Sagittarius. What does that mean? Communication might be about travel, foreign events, things of that nature, but we're going to be talking, baby. On the 14th, okay? The 14th, we have a new moon total solar eclipse, 23 degrees Sagittarius. And I'm going to talk about what the number 23 signifies as we move forward. Now, if you remember, on the 30th of November, we had a full moon partial lunar eclipse in Gemini. But it had a lot of Neptunian energy, so there was a lot of things that were being kept from us, things of that nature, like we didn't have the full story. Well, be prepared because we're going to get the full story, right? On a global level and on a personal level, you're going to get what you've been asking for. Now, the 15th, Venus enters into Sag. I kind of feel like with the planet of love, travel, money, like we're going to be wanting to do big things. We're going to want to be expressing our love. It's going to be beautiful. And Chiron goes direct in Aries, and Chiron is known as the wounded healer. Aries is very much head energy. I feel like we're going to be facing things head on with the 2020 vision that we received this year. We learned a lot about ourselves. We learned a lot about others. We've had plenty of time to do a lot of learning. <laughs> on the 17th, important day. Saturn enters into Aquarius. We are entering into the age of Aquarius. So we had a lot of Capricorn energy last year, a lot of structures changing, a lot of things, or 2020, but a lot of things coming to an end, right? We were seeing things fall apart. Well, now we're coming together with the energy of Aquarius. We want to help each other. We want to unite. We want to be strong. And on the 19th, Jupiter goes in there and meets up with Saturn. He's like, what's up? Let's make it happen. Let's enhance what we did last year, right? Now, coming into this on the 21st, happy birthday, Capricorn. The sun is in your, in your area. And this is a huge day. The sun and Jupiter are at zero degrees conjunct. What does zero signify in the tarot? The fool. We're ready to embark on a new adventure. And it's the winter solstice. So celebrate, 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 right? And of course, on the 25th, many who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas, whatever it is that you celebrate, guys, take a moment, celebrate it, honor it, honor your family, honor your ancestors, just take a moment because we're going on a ride. <laughs> and on the 29th, we have a full moon in Cancer, okay, eight degrees. So talking about the number 23, right? Because I'm going to tell you, like I do a lot of personal readings and a lot of online readings, and the number 23 was coming up a lot, especially this whole um, full moon in Sag was coming up for a lot of like information for clients that's going to come through for like people who are getting readings. The number 23 is very significant, right? Not just because of if you break the number down to equal five, it means change, but this is freedom, the number of freedom, right? We are craving freedom. We are craving change in partnerships, relationships, contracts, dualities, anything that pertains to the number two. And three is all about excitement, something new. We're just ready for something new. And so 23 signifies freedom. And so this year, we're getting our freedom from 2020. <laughs> so with that being said, thank you. Thank you, guys. We've been doing this for a long time. I'm going to get emotional. I'm going to try not to, but I am very, very emotional today. I just left my dad's and <sighs> very important things happened over Thanksgiving for me and it has been a journey. So yeah, these readings are going to be late. Be patient. Be kind. <laughs> All right. So, you know, I like to do a pick a card. Overall energy. What does December hold for you? So, oh, I got them all upside down and stuff. Okay, let's see here. Will it be one? Or will it be two? 
So if you chose card number one, you have that of manifestation. In this deck, it comes down to the number 19. 19 is telling you, you got something new coming in because it comes to a 10, which comes to a one. And it's all about you. What are you manifesting? What are you creating? This is the wizard. This is that alchemic process. What can you turn to gold this year? What can you take and make the best out of from 2020? as you move forward. So start thinking about what do you want to manifest this month and how are you going to do that? Now, if you chose purification, it comes down to the number 23. I'm telling you, you are longing for freedom. 23, purification. Yes, it's time to do a deep cleansing, a deep clearing. Don't wait for the new year. Do it now. Start now. Little bitty things. Get rid of items that you don't need. People, that you no longer serve a purpose in your life, who bring a lot of pain and sorrow, who make you feel bad about yourself, this might be the year that they're not coming into 2021 with you because you, you've seen and you've learned and you're starting to value yourself. But this is a purifying your mind, your body, and your soul. And when I look into this, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a person in there, right? There's a person in the water. I don't know if you can see it. And it's almost like a very healing energy. It's a very, very healing energy. And this is just time to clear. And there's a lot of blue here. So maybe we're clearing our throat chakra to express what we no longer want and need coming into 2021 with you. Now, the 2021 reads are intense. So if you're ordering one, order it now. What I do is I take your birthday into consideration. I look at your theme. I look at your numbers. I look at what's going on. I give you month by month astrological updates with tarot. Then we look at your mind, your body, your soul. And I'll, I'm offering them in a six month and a 12 month. So the six month is 111 11 and the 12 month is 222 22. Now, depending on what you want is what you're going to get. But you all get the theme. You get that body, the mind, the body, the soul. You get a lot of stuff. There's like a, it's like a whole monthly read for every month, okay? Personalized to you. So, thank you guys. We will end this year together. I love you so very much. You are my family. You are everything. I mean it when I say I love getting messages from you. I try to respond as much as I can. So, have yourself a happy holiday. From my heart to your heart, from my family to your family, I wish you nothing but blessings and joy. And we're going to be bringing in 2021 together again. Love you. Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. I'm so excited to be with you, be with you this morning. I have not had my coffee. I'm still drinking my water with lemon. Um, bear with me. My voice is in and out. Um, I've been working from like 10 to 2. 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. <laughs> doing readings to try to catch up. So if you're waiting on videos, please be patient and kind with me. I'm trying to get there, okay? But I can only move as fast as one person can. Now, with that being said, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. The way these reads are set up is we're going to look into a theme. and We're going to look in your mind, body, and soul. We're going to hit up the tarot. We're going to look at love. We're going to look at ancestral messages, your health, your crystal, and tie up the year 2020. Guys, we made it. So with that, let's talk about you taking the lead and the connection. What does that mean to you? So there are some Scorpios who have really met somebody important in their life. I've been seeing this coming in the weeklies. Now, taking that lead and moving forward, what does that look like for you? Connecting. And I feel like there's some of you who are dealing with the issues of trust, dealing with the issues of putting yourself back out there and wondering if it's safe. But here in this situation, it's looking really looking pretty damn good all right so take that lead take the lead of faith move forward whether this is in work whether this is in love okay now beautiful energy coming in with the monkey so the monkey is ruling the mind okay the monkey is a very playful energy this is about developing the right side of your brain the monkey is tied to archangel Raphael. so there is a lot of heart centered healing going on you see how that's glowing over there now Take time to relax, have fun, enjoy, love your food, smell the flowers, see the beauty everywhere. I feel like put those rose colored glasses on for one Scorpio and stop thinking that everything's going to fall apart, right? So it's important to be aware of your voice when you're talking or singing right now because it has power. So this is a time to be 
and an attitude of gratitude. I want to say wear lots of green to keep that heart space flowing. Also, if you want to work with Archangel Raphael to heal your heart, listening to megahertz music for heart chakra um, healing. Now, I feel like you're ready to play, and I'm going to say with monkey, it's very flirtatious energy. They use their little tails. They swing from tree to tree, but they're very kind and loving together. And I'm going to say, pay attention to your children, even though you might be in love right now. Pay lots of attention to them. Ask their opinions. Listen, 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 Scorpio. Now, with this, I'm going to say, monkey has a very funny sense of humor. So be aware where you're telling jokes and who you're telling them to, because they may not, may not be received the way that you thought they were. Now, moving into this, I'm going to say February 21st, more than likely going to be a very important day for you, okay? Just because I have 221. Another thing about this number is 22 is a master number. Master number in that master builder. So you are building your foundation in partnerships, relationships, contracts, duality. You are really moving forward very quickly. Why? Because it's time to start a new commitment on a soul level. So let's talk about this beautiful card. See, I'm seeing pairs of animals and so in feng shui, pairs of animals brings in relationships. It brings in that love and feeling, right? So this is you in the tender embrace. And the card number 22 in the Oracle of the Seven Energies. I just got this deck. And if you're interested in seeing more of them, head over to Instagram and check out my unboxing, okay? Now, this is about compassion, warm-heartedness, taking care of yourself and being kind. Today, make a commitment to practice self-compassion. Another thing, whenever I see the elephant, because I work with Ganesha's energy a lot, I always think about obstacles being removed, right? So I feel like in the love sector, in that contract, whatever it is that you've been calling in, you're removing a lot of obstacles, right? Now... The commitment card is telling you there is a soul contract, there is an actual contract, there is love on the way, there is a binding contract of love coming in for you. So with that, with the pairs of animals, the reason why I titled this love, love, love is because all I can think about Scorpio is you actually having an opportunity to really feel and know what love is, okay? So let's cut this deck and see what we got going on. And I have... The sun coming towards the two of wands reversed. So yes, take action. That's why that take the lead is there. There's also a vacation coming for you. Look behind the sun. I have the lovers, the nine of cups and the sun. There's a vacation with your lover coming up, even if you're just renting a hotel to get away from the house. Okay. However, that two of wands reversed, maybe you've been waiting for somebody to, to do more and like profess their love. And in this situation, Scorpio, I know you might be afraid to put yourself out there, but go for it. You know, like, go for it. Don't sit in limbo. Like, if we were to all learn how to communicate better and tell each other exactly what we want, instead of playing games with each other, our dating lives would be so much better. <laughs> it would be so much easier to fall in love if we were just honest with ourselves and honest with others, right? So let's see here. What do we have for our beautiful Scorpio? I am using the Babylonian Tarot by Sandra Cisneros. It's the cards I learned to read with, and they're like my absolute favorite tarot deck, okay? I've been reading for them for a couple of years now. So I have a one coming in, so I feel like there's new beginnings on the forefront for you. The Chariot Reversed, Justice Upright, Six of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and High Priestess Reversed. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Overall energy, you're ready to give your cup of love, boo. You're ready to do this. So, let's look at the bottom of the deck, okay? Voice is going in and out, sorry. <sighs> the sun is shining on you still, okay? And you do have a spirit guide that's saying, look, this is love that you're feeling, okay? Go for it. Why aren't you going for it? Have fun because there's marriage on the horizon, a more committed relationship. And maybe it's not marriage. Maybe it's just saying, hey, you're my girl, you're my man, whatever, you know? And moving forward and putting that out there so there's no question about like, is it cheating to talk to someone else? Well, you're in a committed relationship with someone. Yes, it is, okay? You should not be flirting with other people in front of your partner. I don't know why that came out, but anyways, whoever needed that. Now, the nine of wands, it's like you've been fighting this feeling and your spirit guides are like, look, we're sending you messages, we're we're telling you what you need to do and you're not doing it go build your foundation go invest okay so i feel like some of y'all need to build a foundation and invest and some of y'all might be signing contracts for houses okay <clears throat> 
We'll be clarifying with the Lightseer's deck. So as I'm looking at that, in the past, who was trying to over-control the situation? Was it a Cancer? Was Cancer being a little bit controlling for you? Whatever the situation is, some of y'all are dealing with a car accident case or something of that nature. If you are, it will rule in your favor. With justice being upright, just know that justice will be served. However, you're looking at a situation that was being a little bit controlling and you're like, look, look, I'm not playing this game with you. We help each other with the Six of Pentacles. This is an equal give and take relationship. We should be celebrating more and we do not need to try to read each other's minds. We need to speak to each other with the High Priestess reversed, okay? And I do kind of feel like maybe y'all have included like a family member in the mix or you have a friend or he has a friend or she has a friend that tries to tell y'all how y'all should be in a relationship. No, ma'am. Okay, that has to end. So this is about you and your partner really having communication and moving forward. Another message that I'm receiving is don't worry whoever's in a case or going to court for financial support. It will rule in your favor, especially if your husband or wife was cheating. Okay, let's see here. All right, we have the chariots and the chariot saying, take off the blinders, take them off, okay? Take them off and see things for what they are so that you can sit on your throne and rule the damn dirty situation, okay? Because something is a loss, but we're not bound and broken on the floor. We're gonna make a damn decision. We're not crying about it. We're just like, you know what, it didn't work. That didn't work, the past didn't work, whatever I thought was gonna work didn't work, and that's okay. It's okay for things not to work because that just means something else is. Something better is coming, a better situation, something that your guides are bringing to you, something you couldn't even imagine is coming your way. And look, 20, imagine. I can only imagine. I love that song. And the two cards both had a new moon, do, do, do. However, card 20 was strong enough. Let's look at the new moon energy. New moon energy is coming in on the 14th with a total solar eclipse, 23 degrees Sagittarius. With that energy that you have coming in with this card, I'm gonna say you can only imagine how damn great it's going to be, and it's going to be great, because you are standing in your power and you are ruling and making the decisions needed to be made. Pull in the energy of that eclipse. Use it to show you what needs to be removed out of your life, okay? Now, the hidden influence is the Six of Pentacles. You're like, look, let's help each other. Let's grow. Let's do this. Let's, let's do it, okay? And then you're like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this because there's that third party. Excuse me, squawkity squawk, 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 all up in your ear. And this is your partner like, what the hell is going on? I thought you said things were going to work out. I thought you said this. And you're like, I don't know. I just, I don't know what's going on. And if this isn't a friend, this is your thoughts, right? I'm telling you, that eclipse is going to show you what you need to know. Now, the three of wands reverse coming through for you. This is really interesting energy. I think you're going to dismiss somebody. You're going to dismiss. Look, here's a little page. They're reverse. I think you're going to tell somebody, no, thank you for something. And you're like, we, we got it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We got this. No, you don't need to join our business. This is a family business. Page of Wands could be a young child or someone younger than you, a very young energy. Maybe somebody who just bursts out and says whatever they want all the time. But you're going to make a decision about this, right? You're going to move forward. So let's see why the High Priestess is reversed. King of Cups coming through. Should this be upright? Go to your higher power. Trust yourself, um, Scorpio. You know what's best for you. You don't need to listen to this energy. You don't need to be spontaneous in the wrong way and, and, and watch your jokes, okay? Watch what you say. Now, with this Page of Cups at the end and the King of Cups, right? So you got the higher, the higher fin, I'm sorry. The higher priestess is saying, in order for her to be upright, you got to stand in your king shit. You got to be the king. Calm your energy before you speak. There's a lot of blue, so emotional things are going to be said, especially when you're talking to your children even adult children. Now, with the Prince of Cups coming in, I always think of all the we go. <laughs> yeah, to the end of the road, baby. I can't sing this early in the morning. This energy is like, make a decision, okay? You know that you want to be with this person or you know you want this job. You know what you want. You need to make a decision and make the offer, okay? Let's see here. Let's see what this Prince has for you. And it's a hell yeah with the sun. Look at that sun shining. Should this be here? No. 
Okay, that sun is coming through. It's a yes. Some of y'all were, is this person for me? Is this job for me? Is my health going to get better? Should I Should I move here? Blah, blah. Yes, yes, and yes. Make the offer. It's going to work out. There is a new beginning. Also work with your solar plexus energy to move yourself forward. In this situation, what I'm picking up, so I'm going to give you two stories real quick. There is somebody who allowed family to move in. There is somebody who has allowed their friend or their thoughts to kind of rule them in, in, in a negative, pessimistic way. When you know in reality, this is a really good situation and it could make you really happy. Don't let other people make decisions for you, Scorpio. Stand in your power and be decisive. Okay, let's see what's going on in love for my beautiful Scorpios. Okay, Scorpios, single Scorpios. What we got, single Scorpios, single Scorpios. Y'all doing some soul searching. Y'all trying to get things together. It's at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Wands. Some of y'all are really being protective of your heart space. Should this be upright? Yeah. Should this be upright? Okay, some of y'all might have recently gotten your heart broken, right? You might have gotten your heart broken. And because of what's happened in the past in love, you don't you have trust issues, right? And someone's like, hey, I really like you. I really like you. I want to talk to you. Let's hang out. You're super cute, Scorpio. Heard your bomb in the bed. I'm just kidding. And this is you. Get away. I want nothing to do with you. I don't want to hang out. I don't want to do this because you're just like all the other people. So there's some healing that needs to happen with that heart chakra, right? What flew out? And you're keeping your emotions all bottled up into you. Have la botella with the number eight. The number eight is significant of communication. You don't want to talk about it. You just want to keep them away. Look at this four cups, right? Look at this four cups. They're like, even spirit guides are like, look, look what I brought you. And you're like, but look what happened. And then you keep these emotions all bottled up inside of you. And that's not the answer. Okay. So work on expressing yourself. For my couples, what's going on with my couples? Ooh, couples. I like this energy. I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of fertile energy. I have the Empress. There's a lot of sex going on, okay? There's some... I have, I just always drawn to his bulge. I don't know. Like, it is always there. Anyways, the Empress with the Nine of Cups, the promise of love, the promise of starting over, the promise of new things coming, okay? Let's look at the bottom of the deck with the star. So you might be dealing with some Aquarian energy, or this is something that's going to happen in Aquarius season, possibly a baby, possibly a new, a new start. Like, we are really coming through with the promises all right and for some don't let your mothers get in the way of your relationships okay remember that you married this person and you you took a commitment to be with this person look there's the sun again 46 comes down to a 10 so i'm gonna say let the sun shine down on you baby work on your solar plexus energy i do see somebody having a sun okay i'm just gonna put it out there with that nine of cups and the empress energy and remember, you're the parents, okay? Take control of the situation, guys. And if you're making a lot of promises, Scorpio, be sure that you're keeping those promises. All right, let's see here. I also see marriage coming through. Okay, we're going to look at the medicine well coming in for you. And this is about continuation. And this is an ancestral message. I love to use these cards for like messages from the other side. What goes around comes around. A situation is about to be resolved. Uh, um, do, watch how you react, okay? A past issue needs to be readdressed. You feel like you're on a wild goose chase, but as you learn from this experience, a new situation will present itself. It's like we want to just like kind of leave things undone. Don't leave things undone. It's really important that you move forward, okay? Now, and let's look at your health with the Prince of Cups. He is offering you something there. You got the Prince of Cups twice in your read. So there you go. You want to make that offer. But the Knight of Cups, pay attention to the timing of the 17th of February to the 23rd of March. This is a good omen in health readings. Good results, good test results. But watch out with anything that can cause addictions, okay? Because it could indicate addictions, especially in a child or one of your kids, okay? Now, sarsaparilla is an alternative tonic and aphrodisiac to enhance male sexual energy. It works on the liver, the stomach, and skin disorders and treats gouts, balances hormones. Sarsaparilla plus cinnamon and sandalwood, sandalwood equal money, plus frankincense and myrrh will bless your house. Demania and sarsaparilla and juniper berries cause arousal. So you can turn that into a um, like a little incense and burn it and then bam, bada boom, bada bang. Some good times in the bedroom, right? Right, Scorpio? Mm-hmm, I know you. 
Apopolite is coming through for your crystal, okay? An apopolite is a complex confronting stone that promotes truth. It includes the ability to see oneself and one's situation clearly. Its stone is great for Reiki healing and it facilitates deep relaxation and tranquility to increase healing. And it helps with asthma, allergies, and problems with the eyes. Now, this is a powerful tool for tuning into the higher realms. It calls in the angel guides and your Reiki guides. And guys, I am finally Reiki 2 certified. And I'm super excited thanks to Vanessa J. Love. All right. This card indicates it's time to let go of whatever is holding you back and holding you down. Okay, consider what's going on in life. What can you let go in order to move towards what you truly desire? And a popolite is a very beautiful crystal. I have a huge one in my room. Now, with this, 2020 has been one hell of a year. But for you, my friend, this is all about tranquility, right? So at the bottom of the card is the past. This is what we're leaving behind. It's a struggle to tolerate adversity without getting annoyed or anxious. But follow the Japanese example of having a kupa. Get yourself a damn cup of tea and, and, and handle yourself, okay? So what are you practicing for your Zen moment? How do you quiet your soul? How do you bring harmony? This is about meditation and helping you allow negative thoughts and feelings to pass. It's not reacting to every thought and everything that's jumping in your head, but learning to evaluate and question what's going on, okay? Now, in the middle world, you're going to see Mount Fuji. However, it's telling you, do you always follow what everybody else is telling you? Do you want to do everything like everyone else? But think about the Yambushi, our mystical hermits associated with this mountain, who go on vision quests and connect with spirits of the mountains. Seek to share your spiritual power. You're stepping into your spiritual power. Now, the upper world, I love this story. This is Amaterasu, the Japanese sun goddess. So there's something with the sun. Possibly you are dealing with a Leo or a sun, you know, Pay attention to your sun sign right now. Pay attention to your sun, all right? Pay attention to your solar plexus. However, legend speaks to her retreat into a cave when her brother Susano, the storm god, swept away all the houses in nature and everything was ruined. The sun vanished and the darkness reigned. Great panic took hold. Has your light been extinguished by someone else's negativity or need to control? That was the chariot reverse, right? So it's telling you shine brightly. See Amateur Russo's presence illuminated on the earth and restored peace because she heard people laughing and she was like, why are people laughing and having a good time? And she comes out and she was shown a mirror that revealed her true beauty and she was told to come out of the cave and radiate her love. This is you stepping into that commitment. This is you sharing your heart and soul with someone and this is you being your authentic and true self, guys. Be with people who want to be with the real you not your representative you know and it's okay not to be happy all the time there's no need to always be happy 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 okay it's kind of impossible but it is it is important to stand in your power and I feel like what you've learned through 2020 is you're going to show the world who you really are and 2021 is ready for you my love so if you're ready for a read hit me up at arena luciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arena luciano be blessed fam